Hey YouTube, Rico Knows here. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my top 25 for college football after week one. People keep asking me if I'm gonna make these lists and I'm always like, I'm too busy, but I decided to sit down and do it. I'm actually working on the live stream, getting ready for the podcast for the Big 12 um, show today. If you ever were curious on what I'm talking about in different conferences and whatnot, all week long, I do two different conferences every single day. Today will be the Big 12. I have to do a makeup day, so I'm going to do the Big 12 in the American, and then later tonight I'll do the SEC in the Sun Belt. Nonetheless, uh, let's talk about the top 25 for college football after week one. What you're going to notice about my top 25 after week one is that every single team on the top 25, yeah, they won. That's the rule for me. If you want to be in the top 25, you have to have won a game. I do not care about your preseason rankings at all. I really don't. It has to do with your performance on the field. And I'm sure someone out there is going to be like, hey, where's, where's Oregon? Bro, Oregon sucks. If you want to know where Oregon is, grab a map. It's above California. That's where it's at. You go out there and you struggle to beat Idaho, I don't want to talk to you. You're not in my top 25. Congratulations. You might have a superiorly talented team, but you're not top 25, bro. Get away from me. I'm allergic to that mediocrity. Nonetheless, my top 25 after week one, number one is Texas. What they did to Colorado State is amazing. Colorado State is a very good offensive team, one of the better offensive teams in the Mountain West, and they got across the 50 twice. You heard me right twice texas was so dominant it's crazy and i'm talking about defensively they look like the best team in america obviously coming off of a playoff run the notoriety and you know support teams like ohio state michigan all these teams are getting is crazy when you look at a team like texas they performed out of their mind love everything they're doing Shout out to Georgia at number two, dominating Clemson. Very impressive. Uh, love it to death. I have them at two, and they might be underrated. <laughs> They're top two, and they ain't two. No, they might be underrated. It's it's there, though. I got to gotta go with it. A lot of it has to do with the fact that Michael Williams is actually injured right now, and I think Texas might be a little more deep and uh, sad to say it, but a little more deep and a little more ready. A little. I, I believe in Quinn Ewers, man. Go do your thing, bro. Go do your thing. Number three, Ohio State. Did not cover the spread against Akron. I don't care. Good teams win. Great teams cover the spread. Ohio State, you, you didn't win by 50 against Akron. Get away from me. Speaking of winning by 50, Ole Miss goes up and wins by 70. So impressed with Ole Miss and what they do. I like the way they, they played and their performance. Alabama, shut up. Western Kentucky, it's another one of those teams. Like Colorado State's better than Western Kentucky, but it's another one of those teams you would expect a Tyson Helton offense to go out there and at least do a little damage, a little something, something, and they did nothing. Absolutely. Now, you couldn't roast those Alabama corners that are questionable. Nah, Alabama showed up. They looked great. Penn State beat the hell out of West Virginia. I told you it would happen. Shout out to the MVPs. And they, and they actually looked like they had receivers. Drew Aller was hitting them. I just, if they get receivers, look out. Penn State's loaded everywhere else. Miami, I saw the polls, coaches' polls, AP polls. They're putting these guys at 12 and 15. You're trying to tell me the entire ACC, the best team in the ACC is not top 10? Nah, I don't believe you. Miami looked great. Miami would beat Michigan. Miami would beat a number of teams. And so that's why I have them at seven. They're superior this year. I called that all offseason long. Number eight, Notre Dame. Defense looks fast, looks mean, and they beat AM. And I think AM's a really good team. They just have terrible quarterback play. But a part of that is Notre Dame's defense makes you look terrible. I was more impressed with Love coming through, actually just wearing down the defense, and then to finally, you know, finally bursting through. Shout out to Notre Dame. They got a they got an easy schedule. They should figure some things out. Number nine, USC. Uh-huh. If you watched that game against LSU, you saw a team with professional wide receivers. Now I understand LSU barely lost that game just like AM barely lost their game so those two teams with one loss should probably be in somebody's top 25 just not mine because i got 25 teams that won games bro that's how the way, that's how i get down if you win you're in if you lose I, what am i doing i'm giving you credit for losing good, close nah although I, I was impressed with lsu their ability to score is there but man usc your defense looked good They were tackling well. There was a lot of enthusiasm, if you will. I saw some thump, and then you got professionals at wide receivers. 
professionals at wide receivers. Guys making one-handed grabs you never heard of. Zachariah Branch still running all over everybody. It's like, hold your breath. He's going. He's going. Miller Moss can just lace it and get it to the right guys. USC. Hmm. We'll see. Oklahoma State. I know a lot of people don't think too highly of Oklahoma State. I do. I think they're one of the best teams in the Big 12. Very senior Latin team. And I know all, all you guys talk about Ollie Gordon. I'm not talking about Ollie Gordon. I'm talking about a 3,000-yard passing quarterback with three wide receivers returning from last year, and they're all a mismatch problem. Shout out to Stribling, um, Presley. I'm forgetting one more. How am I forgetting one more? Is it Owens? Yeah. They're, they're, they're amazing. So Oklahoma State has a daunting, like a daunting task of trying to get out of their own way. I understand there's times they don't perform to expectation. We saw it last year. South Alabama beats them. And everybody kind of looked at me and goes, Rico, what are you doing? South Alabama was great. If, if you didn't know, South Alabama was great. They just didn't show up the rest of the season. But they were, they were actually a really talented team. Nonetheless, Oklahoma State right now for me, Nick Martin's the best linebacker in college football. Tape doesn't lie. Go watch him. Nick Martin's the best linebacker in college football. I'll say it again. Missouri at 11. You know I love him and I expect him to be in the playoffs. Number 12 is Utah. Cam Rising still only throwing to tight ends. Congratulations. 13, Oklahoma. Get it done, bro. Get it done. Figure it out. You got a better team than most people. Go get it done. 14, Vandy. If it's a week one poll, if it's after week one, Vandy beating Virginia Tech the way they did, you can't sit here and tell me somebody else had a better performance. You just can't. Diego Pavia is still pissing on logos. Like, he pissed all over these dudes in 4K. I'm with it, man. Shout out to Vandy beating Vautech. People think you're not talented. People think you're not good enough. Lace it up. Let's figure it out. My 11 versus your 11. I don't want to hear about all that depth. I don't want to hear about all that recruiting classes. None of that matters. Put 11 on the field, bro. Who you got? Let's figure it out. Shout out to Vandy. 15, Kansas. Still don't like the offensive line, but they're very explosive. They can score anywhere. Shout out to Kansas. Get it done. 16, Arizona. I know. New Mexico, right? Guys, New Mexico, Devin Dampier, their quarterback, he's so good. I think he can play anywhere. I think he's better than the starting quarterback at Michigan. Devin Dampier, New Mexico's got a better quarterback than Michigan. Devin Dampier can score on anyone. So that being said, Arizona gave them some points. They still put up like 60. Stop it. They still put up 60. T-Mac is still everywhere. Great running backs, great offense. Noah Fafita is him. The Heisman campaign is going great. Just stay up late next time. Stay up late and watch it. Please. It's greatness. It's, it's going to be one of the greatest duos you've ever seen. 17 is Michigan. Defense is still elite. Offense is anemic. 18, Louisville. The inverse. Offense is elite. But their defense showed up to play. Now, they played a terrible team, and we knew they would cover that spread. Like Murray State is, is gross. They played Austin P, who's just as gross. Remember, and I'm, I'm referring to 2023 when I say Murray State. They looked amazing against Murray State early on in the season last year as well. They looked even better against Austin P because they lost Scotty Walden. Because they lost every single transfer. So, shout out to them. I, I love what Louisville's doing. Tennessee. I still think they only win seven to eight games. So, I can't really move them up. They, they look good. They performed well. I still think they only win seven to eight games. According to my talent chart, and my talent chart's pretty accurate. You guys don't want to hear how, how accurate it is. MVPs, no. Shout out to them. By the way, against the spread, over 70%. Just a little something, something. Just a little something, something. My locks were over 70% against the spread. Shout out to the MVPs. We went 12 and 5 week one. It's kind of like, like I do this for a living. Uh, who was I on? 19 Tennessee. Yeah, 20 Iowa State. Not, not getting any love in the top 25. But you hold a North Dakota team who's pretty good to three points. Actually dominant all over the field. It wasn't a shootout. Shout out to Colorado. It wasn't anything like that. It was a straight up. I'm going to hit you in the mouth. And you played one of those Dakota schools who's pretty decent, and they only got three points on you. I love Iowa State. Top 25 all day. Yeah. Remember. Remember what I told you. I said it here. Memphis at 21. Seth Hennigan is him. They, be, they won 40, 40 to 0 against North Alabama. That's normal. Let's go see Memphis do their damn thing. I believe in Memphis wholeheartedly. Kentucky. I don't understand why people aren't, aren't paying attention to Kentucky. Kentucky's defense is absolutely dominant. They win in a shutout, even lightning. The only thing that could ever do anything to them is lightning. Um, they better figure out the quarterback, right? Brock Vandergriff better come through, get it done. But he's there. Barry Brown's a stud. That team is loaded. I like Kentucky a lot. They still are. They're a lot like Tennessee to me. You're going to win seven or eight games-ish. We'll see. Watch Kentucky win seven or eight games. And everybody looking at me like, what? K-State, boring as hell. Can't, can't root for them. Don't like them. But they're there. They're good. 
Boston College beat Florida State. Beat Florida State in front of everybody. Shout out to Boston College. That Thomas Castellanos can't throw to save his life, but man, he can run. Man, he's slippery. He's quick. Their defense is going to be a little better than people anticipated. I like Boston College. 25 is Georgia Tech. You also beat Florida State in front of everybody. We, we now know that win ain't shit. You beat Georgia State. That's cool, though. I like winners, so I put Georgia Tech there. I like winners, so I like Georgia Tech there. That's my top 25. I don't have anybody getting votes. You can't get votes if, you know, this is my poll. So, you got beef with it? Let me know. Put it in the comments. It's going to change from week to week. I'm not trying to project the the outcome of the season with this poll. I'm not trying to tell you who's going to go to the playoffs. And Oh, my God, Rico, you're going to see. By the end of the year, those teams are not going to be where they're ranked. Yeah, we know, buddy. I'm reacting to the results. I'm not trying to predict the future with this poll. That was my talent? No. That's what I do every single week. Shout out to the MVPs. Get to Patreon, y'all. Over 4,000 members for a reason. Peace.